Hey guys, today I have a little update video on my eGPU. I had this issue where I couldn't run an HDMI from my GPU to my television. My NVIDIA drivers would crash and that means I would have to run from my laptop to the GPU, back to my laptop, into the HDMI port to my TV. And that worked and I got improved performance over the stock system of the 540M that's inside. but. I didn't get the full performance, so um, I had Windows 10 and all I had to do was downgrade to Windows 7 and I'm at, back at Windows 7 now and now it works. I can run an HDMI to my television and it works like this. So everything that happens on this screen will get rendered on the video card, but it goes back and forth. But everything that happens on the TV just goes from the laptop into the video card straight to the fit TV, which reduces the traffic that, that happens between this small wire here that goes to the eGPU. So it only has to travel to the GPU and then to the television, not back to the computer again, which like fills the line in the HDMI cable. So um, if I run anything on my laptop screen, like a benchmark or something, I get the same performance as I did before, but I get a heaps of improvement on my television now. And that's in latency and in FPS. So I have GTA 5 running now, and you can see the MS latency is low. It's in the 20s now, and it used to be in the 40s. And what I run is, this is the 960, the GTX 960 from MSI, not the 1070, but the 960. So. I'm running everything on very high and I have the MSAs off. I If I toggle the MSAs, I lose like, if I toggle it to the max, I lose like half my FPS, which is not worth it. The second thing is if I toggle MSA on two times on both shadows and on reflection, I lose seven FPS. And that is a lot on the based on what FPS I have. There are also two settings that I could run at ultra, but also those reduce like five FPS. And the thing is, uh, let me quickly throw open my laptop. If you look, in game I have 45-ish FPS. That means if I turn on MSA, I get to 37. If I turn on to ultra, I get to 33, 34, which is a big difference. So 44 is really fluent. This is more fluent than it ever has been, and it runs really great. And this 44 is the average number. This is where it, everywhere it gets. If I get to a more quiet place where there's less people and stuff, I get up to 60 FPS. So this is the broad number. I can show that even if I go to the benchmark, it has the same number. It goes from 45 and to the 50s. But you can see also the latency is really low now and it used to be really high because of the traffic of the eGPU. And as you can see, GTX 960. So as you can see, the benchmark also runs now at 45 FPS. And the benchmark used to get me like 20, 18 to 20 FPS, even though the game ran at like 30 FPS. This is much, much, much better. So all I had to do was downgrade back to Windows 7, so as you can see I'm running Windows 7. You don't even see much difference because my setup still looks the same, but I am running Windows 7. Hang on. As you can see I have Windows 7. And my index score is also really great. For a laptop from 2011 I have a 3 7.9, 7.8 and a 7.4, which is my lowest. But this is really dope. And I'm making a video currently on how to set it up. But I had to do some stuff and had some issues and stuff. So that's that. But as you can see, just downgrading to Windows 7 really helped out my eGPU performance. And again, increased my FPS. If I would run it with a higher video card, I would get even better performance. But now this makes my 960 enough. So I don't even need to upgrade. But anyway, that's a quick update on my eGPU setup. Thanks for watching. Bye.